What's up guys, I'm Kyle, AKA The Panda Man. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you three tips to have long lasting success with fasting. One of the questions that I get asked about a lot with my panda diet and my panda challenge where I take people through longer form fasting is why the panda? What does the panda represent? And you need to understand that the, part of the symbology behind the panda is the black or the white aspect. There's no gray area. So with fasting, the first thing you need to do is really get familiar and comfortable with the word decision. Decision, is, the root word of that is based in Latin and it means to sever to cut yourself off from any other possibility. So when you decide that, hey, I'm gonna do a, a one meal a day, or I'm gonna do a 48 hour fast or 72 two hour fast, you need to make that decision up front. You can't go based on your feelings. And once you decide, that means you, there's, there's no willpower involved. You cut yourself off from the other possibility. You're not trying to do portion control. You're not trying to see, well, I'm gonna fast if I feel like it. And now with that decision, you need to be very clear on why you're doing this. If you're looking to do something within a week and you want these super quick results, yeah, you'll get results in a week if you're doing longer form fasting. But you need to have a, a bigger why. You need to have a, a deeper reason why you're doing this. You need to have some emotional power behind it. So that clarity for why you're doing it should power your decision-making ability. And remember, once you decide, there's no other alternative. If you're gonna to commit to doing a 48-hour fast, you do a 48-hour fast. The second thing that you need to keep in mind to have a great success with fasting is you need to define with what food is and what body fat is. So once you get clear on these two things, it'll kind of open the pathway for you. So first of all, Food is a drug. Food affects the internal, biochemical, and hormonal environment of the human body. That is the definition of a drug. So food is a drug. It's meant to be enjoyed, but we also have to realize, just like any drug, when we first break away from it, we're gonna get withdrawal symptoms. That could be shakiness, that could be like a headache, almost like if you got a caffeine headache, if you didn't have your caffeine or your coffee that morning. These symptoms are very short-lived. You're gonna get hunger pangs when you've trained your body to expect food over the years. These things go away. You cannot give in when you have these withdrawal symptoms because they pass quickly and just on the other side, the max I've seen these symptoms last is like two days. They'll go away, so food is a drug. The second thing, your body fat is food. The main reason you have body fat is as a fuel source. It's not the only reason, but it's the main reason which means even if you had 10 pounds of fat to lose, which isn't that much, that means you're already pretty good shape and you're pretty lean. That 10 pounds of fat equates to 35,000 calories of energy that you have to give your body a reason to tap into as a food source. So when you feel that little bit of hunger and your stomach starts grumbling, you have to reframe that as that's what fat loss feels like. There's gonna be a little bit of hunger. It gets easier and easier with fasting to deal with over time. But if you're constantly jamming food down your mouth, you're never gonna signal hormonally to the body that you need to tap into this abundant food source that you have hanging off of your body right now. The third thing is you need to keep busy when you're doing longer form fasting. If you're sitting around all day and you're doing a 48 hour fast and you're just watching TV and you're just thinking about food all day, guess what? It's gonna be very difficult, right? Because you're signaling the body, you're get, kicking up this hunger. And remember, hunger is really like an emotion. It's a feeling, okay? Which can be largely driven by your thoughts and your environment. So you need to keep busy. That is a key thing with fasting. When you're busy, you could blast through a two, three, four day fast and have very, very minimal down periods because you're focused on other things. So a lot of that keeping busy has to do where are you placing your focus and your attention? Where your attention goes, energy flows, and results will follow. So place your attention elsewhere. Hit a workout, go for a walk, keep busy, keep moving. And people will tell me all the time, man, it's much easier for me to do my fast during the week as opposed to the weekend when the family's home and the routine is different and they might not be keeping busy as much. So you gotta keep busy. And along with that, have somebody to hold you accountable. When we do the Panda Challenge, I coach people through it, my other coaches are keeping people accountable, and the group members, the people going through the challenge, are doing it together. So if you're gonna do a longer form fast, you can ask a friend or hey, one of your siblings, wanna do this with me. When you know somebody else is doing it with you, it gets infinitely easier, right? It's like the mastermind concept of just knowing that somebody else is going through the struggle with you. And that's how people bond. 
And then you can commiserate if you want on it, but that is something that I found to be, for most people, a key thing, the accountability. So find somebody, and it could just be even telling people that you're gonna do this. They don't necessarily have to do it with you, but tell a couple friends, tell your family members, hey, I'm gonna try a 48 hour fast. So if you do those three things, you're gonna have long lasting success with your fasting. You just gotta be consistent with them. I'm gonna give you a bonus. You're gonna run into obstacles when you do this. So what are those obstacles? First one is gonna be other people. Other people are gonna tell you that this is dangerous. You're gonna go into starvation mode. You're crazy. You're gonna get hypoglycemic, low blood sugar, you know, one and the same thing. Unless somebody else has tried this, do not listen to them, right? Because it's gonna scare people. It's so far out of the norm of what most people can comprehend with how to live their life because most people are addicted to the drug of food. So other people are gonna be a big obstacle. Don't worry what anybody else says. The next obstacle that you're gonna hit is most doctors out there. Most doctors have maybe one course of nutrition training in their whole collegiate career, one course. So most doctors are not well-versed in nutrition, period. And most of them, if you tell them that you're gonna fast, they're gonna say, no, you can't do that. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna do this and that. Fasting is the healthiest thing you can do for your body. The third thing is your expectation. What you'll find with fast is if you're doing one meal a day, like a 24 hour fast, as soon as you get near that meal, let's say it's dinner time, all of a sudden you're gonna start getting a little bit more hungry because you're thinking about it. If you decide that you're doing a 48 hour fast, guess what? The hunger's probably gonna really kick in around 46, 45 to 47 hour mark because of your expectations. If you decide on a 72, same thing's gonna happen. It's gonna be that 69, 70, 71st hour. So your expectations are gonna dictate a lot uh, as far as obstacles. And just know that when that comes, it's because your brain's starting to get excited about that meal. But you can stick it out. You already went a majority of the time. So just manage your expectations of what you're gonna do and what you're gonna hold yourself Two. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, guys. I need you to do a few things for me. I need you to hit the like button so I know that you like what I'm putting out and I'll make more of it for you. I need you to leave a comment. That could be a question, a critique, argument, whatever it is. I'll look at that and I will respond. And again, it gives me feedback to put out better content for you guys. And lastly, I need you to hit the subscribe and notification button. That way you'll be sure to never miss a video that I put out.